this time I'm going to show you how to use an image overlay in one of my preferred techniques. So I'm going to go to my snapshot of Texas. And this is the imagery of Texas that Google Earth gives me. But what if I have an image of a map of Texas like this? And this is a PNG of the county maps. And I want to bring this into Google Earth, but stitched into Google Earth to overlay on top of the Google Earth imagery. This is how you do it. I'm going to add an image overlay, and I might count, call this my county map overlay. And I'm going to browse to where I have that PNG saved. Texas county map. There it is. But it's not exactly where I want. So we're going to use those green lines that I showed in the other video. Very important to lower the transparency. So I can see the image, but also see through it. And now I'm going to use those green lines that I showed before. So I might try to line this up with the boundaries in Google Earth, but it doesn't quite fit. So I need to use these green lines. Holding shift, go to the corner, make it a bit smaller, move it again. Maybe a little bit more. Move it again. Now I've got, yeah, it's getting close, so I'm gonna keep adjusting it. Maybe bringing it this way. Bringing it this way. You're never gonna get it perfect. One reason why is that I'm dealing with a flat picture on the round earth, so there's gonna be some distortion. But if you keep messing with it, you'll get it pretty close. That's not too bad. When I'm happy with it, now I bring the transparency back up, right here. Click OK. And now I have my county map right here that I can turn off. Taking my look at Texas. Now if I decide I want to show the counties, I turn that image overlay on, and I've got that overlaid on my map. This is one of my favorite ways to, to use an image overlay. In the next video, I'm going to show you another one of my favorite techniques. Thanks for watching. Map your world.